Biden administration has announced that it is resuming expedited removal. That means migrants claiming asylum will be questioned before they get into the country and will be sent back immediately if their claims don't add up. Congressman Greg Stubbe, Republican from Florida, who often writes and talks about the border issue, joins me now. Congressman, it seems like they are now doing something. They've gone back to the Trump version of getting them at the border, turning them back before they actually get inside. There's no more catch, no, not, no more, but there's a limit on catch and release. They're doing something at last, right? Well, hopefully that's what they're saying, yet the facts at the border are completely opposite. More than a million people, illegal immigrants, have come across the border so far. Just in the month of June, we had 188,000 uh, illegal immigrants detained. That is a 471 percent increase over June of last year. That's the highest number in 21 years. So these are numbers that are appalling to anyone. Uh, more than the size of a congressional district has come in illegally, and the Biden administration is shipping these individuals all across the country. They're putting them on planes, they're putting them on buses, and members of Congress like myself has reached out to the Biden administration asking where these individuals are going to, wanting to know how much money is being spent, where the money's being spent, where they're being transported to, and we're getting absolutely no information from the Biden administration on where they're taking these illegal immigrants. I just need your comment, Congressman, on this. A writer from ESPN says, seeing the U.S. flag at the Olympics is troubling. Watch this for a moment, please. Well, hey. I love the opening ceremonies, March of Cut. Then I just realized, you know, man, particularly after these last four years, I had it wrong. Nationalism is not good. Mm -hmm. We've seen the rise of white nationalism. Nationalism is not good. And also this whole idea, I, I keep thinking back on the uh, Capitol riots, mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of, um, you know, U.S. flags. He's likening the U.S. flag at the Olympics to the U.S. flag in January the 6th. Your response, Congressman? Well, if you're not happy with the United States flag and you're not proud of the country that you're in, he's free in our country to go whatever country he wants and be proud of that flag. We're free in our country to do those things. I was proud and honored to serve my country and fight for his right to have his opinion, but I certainly don't agree with it, and many Americans don't agree with it. Uh, Americans stand for liberty, stand for freedom, and stand for truth. Yeah, it's a turnoff. Congressman, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it, always. Thank you very much, Thank sir. Thank you.